We're with Shane Beshin down at the Nike 6.0 WQS contest right now. And um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name's Shane Beshin. I've been a professional surfer for 20 years. Uh, the highest I was ever rated was second on the WCT uh, to Kelly Slater, actually. And uh, now I'm semi-retired. I still compete in random events. And uh, I live in Hawaii on the North Shore with my beautiful wife, Sophia, and my two sons, Noah and Koda. And uh, now my oldest son's eight, and he's been surfing and skating a lot, too. So uh, it's great. It's great fun. Like, it's a rebirth of you know, the love of surfing through your children. So it's really cool. I was talking to Kalani David when he was out here for nationals, and I know your son and him hang out a lot. Like, what's it like seeing two young kids like that hanging out that have the same interests? It's great. You know, Kalani is like three years older than Noah, so he's been really inspirational to my son just because he's always been like ahead of what he's been doing. So uh, Kalani's like the leader of the pack, and then my son and his friend Baron and Finn, and there's just like a whole little crew of kids that all surf and skate and they just thrive off each other so uh, it's great it's really fun to watch that's really cool what is one thing people don't know about you that you would never guess that if you just saw you like what would you say um well considering most people that do know me you know, think of me as like a professional surfer and this and that uh, yeah. I'd say the one thing that they don't know is uh, I really am just a normal guy, <laughs> dorky, normal guy. I love hanging out with my family, uh, watching reality shows with my wife, <laughs> and that's, a, that's about it. <laughs> Do you have a nickname that your friends or family call you? Um, well, a lot of people in the past have called me Besh. Besh? What's that stand for? It's just short for Beshin. <laughs> Okay, that works. That always works. Good thing that you've been up to. Like, what's been going on good in your life right now at this point? Um, well, the best thing is being healthy, you know. Um, in times like right now where, you know, there's recession and everyone can get down and stuff. But in reality, you know, it's like we're here for a short time. And uh, being healthy and happy and having fun with your family and friends is, is definitely the best. And now, like, my son surfing, you know, watching the kids means taking, taking him surfing, so it's really cool now. You said you were a curl surfer for 20 years, and you were a runner-up to Kelly Slater. I mean, you must have crazy stories of you on tour with everyone. Can you tell us some of those stories? Um, or one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the crazy ones really shouldn't be told, so... Tell them. Spill it. <laughs> Give me everything. No. No? No. Okay, well, tell me I'm, like... A PG-13 one. Um, jeez. I don't know. It's just, it just kind of depends on the category you're looking for. Like surfing stories, traveling stories. Anything. Nothing that's surfing, like behind the scenes, like craziness. Like what was the craziest story that you've had? It sounds like you have a lot of them. You've got to think of one. I'm going to have to keep that a mystery, actually. <laughs> All I can say is there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on behind the scenes. I'm sure of, you know, all main pro events and and uh, it becomes, you know, a bit like rock concerts and stuff like that, you know, so I'll say, uh, I'll say the key is balance, you know what I mean? So uh, balance, your, uh, balance your crazy fun with your normal fun. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Well, thank you for interviewing with me. It was a pleasure having you here. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.